The world's greatest minstrel is coming to town. He'll be singing all your favorite songs. Hello, friends. Thanks for checking in. And thanks to Jeff Harris that we can. Does a lot of work on this site, keeping me alive. Yes, I may be over the hill, but I'm not under it yet. I thought I'd just say hello to introduce a rather different show that I did a few weeks back. As you know, I've been in show business a long time, but I never did, ever, sing for people who never knew who El Jolson was. Well, it happened 22nd of May, when I was asked to do a musical appreciation show for some kids in a school owned by a friend of ours. So I had a blast. I really did. <laughs> Come along and see for yourself. Be well. <laughs> a man from my hometown that men must be free. He put an end to the This is the first time I've been in school for 65 years. <laughs> I wasn't as good at it as you, because I didn't have Miss Barbie to teach me. I also was bothered by the German planes that were flying overhead. And one time I was bombed by them. I don't hold it against them. <laughs> so what do you think so far? You're freaking cool! <laughs> I wonder how long it will be before I am. <laughs> because I'm 81 years old. Wow. So do you think you'll make it yourselves to 81? No. It wasn't easy for me. Well, I was born in England, in Yorkshire, and uh, in the middle of the Depression. Yes, I'm still depressed. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this funny gear that I'm wearing was what my father was wearing at the time. And he happened to be the same size as me, so it uh, saved a lot of money. And <laughs> and uh, that's, this is a costume that I've used for many years in my travels over the world. Well, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, England, America, Broadway, yeah. the one in, um, in New York, I mean. <laughs> is there a Broadway around here somewhere? No. 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 He knows about one, right? You're going to make it there to Broadway? I guess. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you will do anything you set your mind to. And you will also not do anything that would mess up your lives. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Right. Think right, act right, do right. Is my 45 minutes up yet? <laughs> So I'm just winging it. I'm not rehearsed. I don't even know what I'm going to say. But I'm anxious to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a speaker here uh, to amplify the sound. As you can see, I don't really need it. But it looks very theatrical. <laughs> and that's the point. We must present ourselves in a theatrical way so that people know that we're genuine. And if we can express ourselves spontaneously, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I use it, of course. Now, do it now while you feel now. Express it, be honest, and you can't miss because it's all there somewhere. We've all been through experiences that register with us, and then when we're in the front of people like yourselves, it comes out because I can sense your goodness. 
to be in this school is exceptionally good because it's teaching values that uh, you need to know. And you don't know them until you're taught them. They don't come to us. So for many years, I was known as the world's greatest minstrel. You know what a minstrel is? Anybody who sings. You ever sing anything? You did? Can I have a little? Don't be afraid. Come. Sing a little. <laughs> <laughs> Terminator, you're a big lad. <laughs> <laughs> a big lad, but he's a good lad. When's your birthday? Oh, July 26th. July 26th? So you're a Leo. Yeah. Well, you're going to show the world. You're going to take over. Obama's a Leo. Castro is a Leo. <laughs> Chavez, Mussolini. You know, anybody know Mussolini? Yes. The Italian dictator. And Napoleon was a Leo. The interesting thing is if you're born at a certain time of the day, you need not present yourself in your star sign. In other words, you may not come across like March 21st, but if you have a Leo ascendant, that is the hour at which you're born, you may have a Leo ascendant. So you're bold and brave. And I have a Leo ascendant. So pardon me if I'm a bit too loud. <laughs> but my heart is good. Although your heart is good. And you've got to do as they want. Right? Are you a Leo? When you birthday? June 13th? Oh, you're more of a cerebral type of guy. <laughs> Gemini. I'm one too. I'm not you're German. Gemini, I'm not German. <laughs> right? No, no, that's not German. German. My hair is not so good. I, I used to drink milk in school. <laughs> And it wouldn't come out. It stayed there and stuck and grew in cheese in my ear. <laughs> so I became a little deaf. So I'm wearing hearing aids, which is good because when my wife talks to me, I can turn them off. <laughs> oh, boy, it's nice to be here. And what's more, I like the idea that I'm not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> because how can you complain if you didn't pay me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the speaker here, which I say I don't need, but I use it because it looks good. <laughs> and you have the goods, you put them on the table, you do the job. I, uh, I wonder if I can be a little, little wild. Isn't that good? Yeah. Uh, Here as well? Oh. <laughs> When's your birthday? January 11th. <laughs> Capricorn. The goat. 
top of the heap. And 180 degrees to that is the crab under the water. Now all of this thing, sort of thing, will maybe confuse you a little bit, but everybody who's here today has the right to be themselves. No matter what it is, you are you, and you will not be she. You will all be individuals, independent, able to express yourselves as you are. You don't have to be like anybody else. I'm not like anybody else, am I? No. <laughs> so, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll say up here. I like it. <laughs> because I, although I'm a Pisces, when I was born, the moon was in Capricorn. Because my mother and father were Capricorn. And usually you find that that is related to the natal, natal being the, what's the, what, what, oh, Lenos, my wife, my wife is saying. What I'm saying is saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the fact is, the fact is that when you get older, you're affected by gravity. <laughs> and you get tired. Even your hair gets tired. <laughs> it can't stay up there, you know. What I mean? it's it's right now. It just falls. You, you having the same problem? <laughs> <laughs> so I think that the voice goes along with gravity, and it drops a little bit. Because I never had a really high voice, but now it's affected, and maybe in another twenty years I won't be able to sing at all. <laughs> you like the idea, huh? <laughs> All right. Let me uh, see if I can get things rolling here. And being English, you see, I have to come out with the accent. <laughs> because that way you're impressed. Here's an English guy that seems to be just like I am. He's crazy. <laughs> All right, uh, it's, uh, push it on. I shouldn't be doing this, but I couldn't afford to pay anybody to do it for me. <laughs> All right, now that's got that out. And we'll do a little test, because... Da, 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 da. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute now, let's go back. I'm sitting on top of the world. I'm rolling along, just rolling along. And I'm quitting the blues of the world. I'm singing a song, just singing a song. Lord, hallelujah, I just told a person, he popped it ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I'm going to fall. And I'm sitting on top of the world, I'm rolling along, just rolling along, don't want any millions, I'm getting my share, I've only got one suit, just one, that's all I can wear, a bottle of money, that don't bring back day, a sweet little honey, is making me say, I'm sitting, sitting on top, top of the world, I'm rolling along, just rolling along, and I'm quitting the blues, blues of the world. I'm singing a song, just singing a song. Glory, hallelujah, I just told a person, hey, pal, get rid of the call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I'm going to fall, and I'm sitting on top, top of the world. I'm rolling along. Well, that's nice applause. I do appreciate that. Oh, man. That's good to hear. Let me hear it again.
You know, if I was really smart, if I was really smart, I'd ask Miss Bobby to give me a job here as headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole idea. We have to have fun. We must have fun while we're learning. That way, we can absorb it better. It's not serious. It's not the worst thing in the world. If you don't pass your egg examination the first time, you'll do it after the tenth time. <laughs> That's right. There's something demonic about entertainers. They don't really care what they destroy. <laughs> you sit at home there quietly, and the entertainers out there making whoopee. You know what that is, making whoopee? See, that's, that's the beauty of, of Miss Bobby. That's where you see the Cancerian maternal nature at work. She wants to see all of you succeed. Unfortunately, she carries a big stick. <laughs> and you must do it her way. Because Miss Bobby also has a Capricorn moon. So when I first discussed it with her, I said, that's what makes you the teacher. Because Saturn rules Capricorn. So the planet Saturn is, a, is related to the way the person expresses themselves. So you're a Capricorn, right? Yes, sir. So you're under Saturn. And that is where you get the Sabbath day from, Saturday, Sabbath day. So it's very important to know all of this, and if, I'll, if you write it down, I'll remember what I said. <laughs> well, I don't really want to keep it too long. It hasn't been long already. It's another song. Another song? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, one of the big songs that was around when I was a kid, uh, I won't use any music, I'll just a cappella, as they call it, which is Italian. I just want to show off my linguistic skills. <laughs> and uh, this, <laughs> she's giggling. What is your birthday? Me? Yes. Yeah. February 27th. What? February so you're a Pisces like me. Yeah. So you see, I'm touching a chord in her in a different way. She senses me in an emotional way. She, 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 she feels my vibrations are harmonious. So she's giggling away, and of course you're not too quiet either. <laughs> But everybody sees things in a different way. We cannot expect everybody to be the same. And the teacher there is sat at the desk, and she's thrilled. <laughs> to, think, to think that it won't last that much longer. <laughs> May I ask when you're going to be? July 12th. Oh, you're a Cancerian too. I am. Right. You see, that's the motherly nature. That's why they gravitate towards children. Of course, you are very big children. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really, really you know, ladies and gentlemen. And you will be before you know it. So that's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful observation I just made. I'm not bragging. But the Cancerian factor is very important. The mother instinct is very strong in the Cancerian. Now I should be singing the song I was going to sing, but because I'm a Pisces, I drift. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about this, I can talk about that, I can think about every, everything going through my mind and being sorted out by my heart is relative to the nature that I have. But I don't think I'm weird. 
Do you think you're weird? No. How about the pipes? Do you think you're weird? Me? Yes. No. You don't. Well, you should. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that song was a big song during the war, and, and I was evacuated to, um, I'm from the city of Kingston upon the Hall, and when you get, get out your iPads, just check it out. <laughs> the city of Kingston upon the Hall, and they called it Kingston because it was a Kingstown. In fact, we said to the king, get out of here. <laughs> and we got a charter, and... Uh, the hull, of course, there's many hulls around. There's one in Boston, Massachusetts, Canada. So Hull is the name of the river that runs into the Humber, which is a very wide river. And so when the war came, we had to be sent away to Lincolnshire, obviously where Lincoln is, <laughs> not Abraham. Oh. No, we didn't like Abraham much. <laughs> oh, yes, we did. We love all emancipators, all people who free other people from their chains, mental or physical. We love all those kind of people. And in my hometown, we had a guy called William Wilberforce. And he got a bill through Parliament to end slavery, and that's when the British began stopping the slave trade. And so it's a wonderful thing. And I was a baptized in the same church, and uh, I'm very impressed. <laughs> very impressed by that, because that says that I was not grown up with any hatred or feelings of difference between one and another. Oh, do you want to hear that song or not? Yeah. 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 Mary the dotes and don'ts, he dotes and little lambs, he dive in, a kiddly divey do, wouldn't you? Mary the dotes and don'ts, he dotes and little lambs, he dive in, a kiddly divey do, wouldn't you? If the words sound queer and funny to your ear, a little bit jumble and jivey, sing Mersey dotes and dozy dotes and little lambsy divey. Now what do you think that song says? You haven't got a clue, have you? How about, how about me explaining then? Mares, horses, eat oats. And does, female deer, eat. Does eat oats. <laughs> and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will eat ivy too, wouldn't you? Mercy oh, don't the don't the don't the little lambs eat ivy. If you think you're good students, sing it after me. <laughs> you're right. When's your birthday? September 22. September 22, so you're a bit on the Virgo, serious, picky, and Libra loving. I guess so. Nice combination. <laughs> That's nice. A nice combination. So we're all a little bit of something. Well, there's a reason for us all to be different. We've got different DNA and different fingerprints, and uh, it's a wonderful thing. Nobody's the same as anybody else. And I certainly like being the only guy I am. Otherwise, I couldn't make it to be the world's greatest minstrel. World's greatest minstrel. You know what that means? Today? Nothing. Can we hear another one with music? Another one. <laughs> only one? I'm getting used to this. I could pass a, an examination on this. All right. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I didn't come well prepared because I like it when I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I, like it. I know what's going to happen. It's no fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let me see if I can find it. 
Uh, my corporate corporate. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks, but. Well, uh, oh. Oh, this is. No, this is nice. It's what we used to sing romantically. I've said you've gone and not be crying. After you've gone, there's no denying. You'll feel blue, you'll feel sad. You'll miss the business pal you've ever had. There'll come a time, now don't forget it. There'll come a time when you'll regret it. Someday. When you grow lonely, your heart will break like mine, and you want me only. After you've gone, after you've gone away. I'm looking over, I thought it clover, I overlooked before. One leaf is sunshine, the second is rain. There is roses that grow in the lane. No need to explain it. No time remaining. Somebody I am gone. I'm looking over. I found it over. I overlooked it all. I'm just wild about Harry. Harry's wild about me. The heavenly solution of his business business. You'll lose it at 13. He's sweet just like chocolate candy. And he's like honey from the feet. Say, I'm just wild about it. Harry. Harry's wild about it. I can't remember now. Harry's wild about me. Chinatown, my Chinatown. Where the lights are low. I said, no, no, other man. Drifting to and fro. Dreamy tree or Chinatown. I'm a mouse of brown. I've seen light and I've seen bright. In good old Chinatown. Get by the dog to Broadway. Remember me in a hell square. Now all the time at 42nd Street and I will soon be there. Whisper the power on your name to mingle with a gold time throng. Get by the guy to Old Broadway and say that I'll be there ere long. Oh, oh, I'll be your oh, and let me cry oh, after you've gone. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, the whole thing's on the box. Well, thank you, ladies. And that's enough. You don't want to get me too excited. I have to hurry home. I have to hurry home. Beyonce is making my dinner. Thank you all for being here today, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope I'll see you again when you've grown up. All right. <laughs> Sound familiar? I'm singing a song I got with it. I'm singing a song. All right. <laughs> I just don't want to find them. Get ready to call. Stop smoking again. <laughs> I've done it for 50 years. I'm rolling around. 
Roll it along. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'll whistle out. Shut up, for you. <laughs> All right, you can stop now. It still works. It still works. I don't have to put in a claim for my idea. Quite. I've done this a lot of times. I'm always scary for an 81 years old to do that. But I got guts. <laughs> Thanks again, you all. I'll see you. All right, back to business. Come on, I'm your head I may be old fashioned, but you must agree, there are millions just like me, and I'm praying for the day when they're all gonna say that the world's greatest minstrel.